Uh, welcome everybody to the Red Stars' pregame press conference. We have Kayla Sharples and Coach Petroselli here with us. Uh, sorry again, once again for the switch up on you guys, but um, if you have any questions, please use the raise your hand function and I'll use it to call on you. Uh, anybody want to kick us off? Taylor, go ahead. Hey, yeah, Coach, um, if you could just start us off with uh, how the squad is looking this week and kind of what you expect uh, coming from Orlando. Yeah, so uh, we've had a good, uh, really two weeks of training uh, in preparation. Um, we've been able to get really focused on Orlando this week um, and looking at some of the things that we think we can do to be successful and also you know, trying to counter some of the things that they do. Um, it's obviously a, a talented team. The Brazilian players make them a little bit unique. Um, Messiah gives them a, a, uh, a physical presence with, with pace up front. Uh, they like to play on the counter. Uh, appears to me that they don't really mind if they don't have the ball. Um, but uh, when they get it, they go forward fast. Uh, so. I'm hoping it's a game where we have the ball some. <clears throat> Got to make sure that you know we're clean with it. We don't we don't give them opportunities, you know, on our end off of our mistakes. But um, seems like it's going to be a pretty good match. And then to either of you, um, great. We have about a third of the season left. Uh, Chicago is five points um, below that playoff line. What do you think the key is to kind of? get back into that uh, space. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, we have a third of the season left and I believe the mood and the energy in the locker room is still very much positive and we have a lot of hope and belief, which is I think that has to be key right too to making playoffs and we definitely we have a chance. So I think moving forward, getting more of our pieces back together, um, national team players and um, people coming back from injury, we're finally finding our flow again and connecting. And I think, like Coach said, the past two weeks especially, I think that we've had some really good training sessions, just, you know, connecting um, throughout like the midfield, being able to find the pockets, the half spaces, really working on connecting that final ball and crossing and finishing and you're seeing a lot more creativity and honestly joy and so I think if we can bring that into the final part of the season um, I think our chances are good. Thank you. Thanks Taylor. Uh, Joe go ahead. Hey everyone hope all was well. Good to see you guys again. Uh, Chris if I may start with uh, do we have a timeline with uh, Shana and Alyssa's uh, return to uh, the lineup on match days? I know Alyssa is back in training. I uh, haven't seen about Shana. Alyssa's back in training. Alyssa will play. Um, Shana's not back in training yet, uh, but she'll be back next week. Wonderful. Thank you. And Kayla, if I may ask, with some of the news that came out yesterday about potential ownership changes, I'm just curious as a player who's been here a player who cares about our city our area what do you need from a locker room perspective from a team perspective from a new ownership group in order to make this team successful long term first off i think the news is exciting um obviously we're still waiting on the final say um but the mood has been positive too and i think overall um, we just need investment. Um, we need both from, you know, more resources on and off the pitch, I think will be key. Um, I would love to see too. Um, I think this year has been a little bit hard. I mean, the fans that have showed up, like we can feel that energy and it really motivates us on the home, on our home field, but continuing to boost that would, I think, do the city well and also this team and just overall the investment, um, will be, I mean, I just can't even speak to words of how impactful, impactful that will be for us. And uh, just if I may say, uh, have you had the time to process that? I see the excitement in your face, but is that something that is maybe brought another energy to training as well? Absolutely. Again, we're not trying to get too ahead of ourselves. Um, we still are really focused on 
the season and you know taking it one game at a time so we're not trying to look too far ahead and we still have a lot to prove in this season to show that we're a group that you know is fearless that will fight um that's hard working and it's something that we want to showcase so whatever new group when they come in that they believe in us and um i think building that relationship still starts now and showing it on the field well, thank you both. Safe travels and good luck this weekend. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Uh, John, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, question for each of you. Kayla, the, the team has kept clean sheets in four of the last five matches, some regular season and a couple in the cup. So what do you think has been working so well that you guys have been able to, you know, keep those clean sheets and adapt to the different ways that some of these teams have been playing? And to follow up on that, Chris, um, the team scored three goals in the last Challenge Cup match after you guys were shut out the previous two. What changed for you offensively, and what are some of the things you think maybe you can bring into this match against Houston? Yeah, so first, I would say Emily Boyd stepped up in a big way. She played phenomenally um, throughout the course of the games um, when Alyssa was not here. So I think that helped us. It brought us, you know, a lot of energy in the back line, too. So I, I want to give her props for that and I think it started there and I think in addition again bringing in some more players like Yuki was able to come back P was able to come back getting that flow and so I think when we started connecting the ball more and keeping the ball I mean you know coach always says it we're a team that wants the ball and when we have the ball it's hard for us to lose games and I think that key that was key in the past few games to keeping a shutout because then the other team was defending and when you're defending for most of the game it's more likely you'll give up one or two goals yeah on the attacking side um i think it's just a, about getting the right combination of players together um you know we, we struggled up front obviously when mal went out but then when penelope followed up by by being out um just got a little thin up there and then <clears throat> as we as Kayla came back then allowed us to get Casey you know in a position where she could get further up the field and so at the moment I'd say you know those are our two of our biggest weapons going forward and you know they weren't <clears throat> either in you know in the team or or in the right position to impact the attack uh, earlier but now that we have them all back together, I think you, you see that we're capable of scoring goals and, and, and we can be dangerous at times. Great, good luck to both of you. Thank you. Thanks, John. Uh, Dan, go ahead. It's just one of the ownership uh, question, I guess for both of you, have you either as players or Chris as the coach had communication about this internally or are you pretty much hearing the same thing that we're hearing at this point since it's not official? Yeah, no, we, we've we've heard the same thing you've heard. We've had, you know, no no communication with anybody in uh, in this investment group. Um, obviously, we've had communication with people, you know, within our club, but you know, they haven't had communication with with people in the investment group. You know, the investment group has has worked with you know with a, an investment bank and. Those are the groups that are talking, and we're not involved in it at all. So, when the uh, when the announcement of the press release went out the other day, we had a maybe a five minute heads up that that was coming out, and um, and all we were told was read the press release. Like that's you know that's that's what we know. So uh, we know as much as you know, but we are excited about the possibilities. Thanks, Dan. Uh, any other? Kayla, has this been a hot topic then among the players since the news came out? Yes, I think we, like Coach said, we had um, just some little light internal conversations yesterday, and the atmosphere in the locker room um, is happy. But again, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Um, and it's been a, such a long journey, too, that we're just hopeful and wanting it to actually go through. So I, that's really honestly all I can say. And right now, again, we're, we honestly are really focused on this next, these next three games and it's gonna be a long stretch. They're all away. And um, we wanted to get the points there. That's where our focus lies. Great, thank you both.
Thanks, Dan. Uh, any last questions for either Kayla or Chris? I have one, Emma. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, Chris, uh, have you uh, following me, obviously the the World Cup? Uh, I would like to ask you about the level of the play of the players and and the World Cup. Uh, what what you have seen in, and and the game, and obviously uh, if uh, you're following me or the scouts are following any potential uh, players that, that that they're following for any other. Yeah, so, I, I, you know, it's interesting watching. Let me give you my real honest thoughts on this. <laughs> it's interesting watching, and I've watched most of all of the matches. Um, and I think that, that early on, my my impression was, you know, the overall level is not great. Um, a, lot of, a lot more teams in, in the tournament, um, which leads to maybe some weaker teams. Um, a lot of rotation among the top teams. Uh, but as we started to get into the knockout rounds, you started to see the real quality and, uh, you know, the level of, of match and the level of player, you know, from the, the quarterfinal on, I think, is, is really high. Uh, the quality of the game is really good. Um, quality of players are outstanding. So um, I, I do think that, that, you know, it's a great... Uh, advertisement for the women's game especially watching these these uh later rounds um, one of the big reasons why i've watched is yes looking for players um scouting players uh trying to figure out you know who we think could help us um and certainly there are a number of players in playing in the world cup that could help us you know whether or not their you know contracts are available or up and whether or not they're interested in coming to the u.s those are all big questions, um, but we we are watching closely uh, and with the, with an eye on on recruiting players. Thanks, Hernan. Uh, any last questions? Cool. All right, let's call it there, and I'll send the recording out shortly. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.